bigger than Van Damme, better than Stallone, buffer than Schwarzenegger. What about the new dancer? Who? The blob of guns. She's an action hero. Female, finally. Yes! The phenomenon known as Pamela Anderson Lee is about to become a whole new force. Hello, Bob. To be reckoned with. It's all driven by her lost love. She was at war and, and Axel left her, and so now she's just gone to the depths of the worst part of town and opened a bar, and she's a psychotic, bitter woman. <laughs> Welcome to the future. America is torn by a second civil war. Rolling. Pamela Anderson Lee is barbed wire who's made her home in the free city of Steel Harbor, the UN safe haven in the year 2017. Let's roll for camera. Once were warriors, Tamara Morrison is Axel, the freedom fighter from her past. Victoria Rowell is the fugitive whose knowledge could topple the fascist government. Hi. Following her every move is Steve Railsback, the powerful and sadistic Colonel Prizer who enlists Xander Berkeley, the corrupt local police official. Stay here! Barb Wire's only loyal friend is her war-ravaged brother, Charlie, played by Jack Noseworthy. The Constitution has been burned, and the people are uh, resisting this new government that's trying to take over. There's basically a civil war here in this country, and the Congressionals have taken over Washington, D.C., and we're slowly taking over cities. Did you hear the Congressionals just took over Denver? From the makers of The Mask and Time Cop comes the story of a country at war with itself, ours. Rolling, rolling, quiet, Shit. quiet. And action. But we're in the near future in the United States. What has happened simply is the wrong people have gotten in charge of the government. And the people of the United States have risen up to get them out of there. Set on the backdrop of a very bleak, futuristic landscape, a classic story with a lot of visceral stimulus along the way. Music! Bringing all the elements together to create the futuristic world of barbed wire is the action sequence director of Alien 3 and Batman Forever, David Hogan. The action, the visuals, all that, that's easy. Maintaining that tone, maintaining that through line. If you get too carried away with technique, you're gonna get screwed, blued, and tattooed at the end of the thing. I'm, I'm very happy so far. There has been complete anarchy across the country. Well, I'm involved with the Congressionals, and I felt that I was doing a good thing. They've discovered this HIV kind of virus that they're going to spread to the uh, resistance movement. And found out soon after that I was involved in a scheme that was detrimental to populations of people. And it's killing the world, and they can kill in 12 hours. So um, I bailed out. Dr. Devonshire was privy to some of the most sensitive military secrets of the Congressional Republic. Her DNA holds the antidote to our greatest biochemical weapon. She must be captured at any cost. Do you remember what happened in Topeka, Kansas? How the whole city was wiped out. They want me, and they want the information. So, of course, I'm a fugitive throughout the uh, entirety of the film. Something feels wrong. This is making me very nervous. Look, we just stick with the plan, OK? Change the plans. My mission as Axel in this film is to get Cora to Canada so she can tell the world about the catastrophes that are happening here. And she uh, has changed her total appearance. And the only way to tell is a retinal scanner. It's a machine you put up to their eyes, and the eyes tell you the name that comes on the scanner. But there are a pair of contact lenses that Cora D is going to use to cross over into Canada. You put these in your eyes, you can get through any retinal scanner. And that's what I'm looking for. He just loves his job. He loves the power of his job. He loves extracting information. He loves the interrogation process. Now, where's Dr. Crane in Devonshire? Wouldn't trade it for the world. I have war torture. But your words just don't match your thoughts. 
The reason these people are on the run and why they're here is they have the antidote to what would be airborne AIDS. So it's, you know, it's comic book. It's, it's a serious, a serious threat here. There must be somebody that can help us out. There's only one person in Steel Harbor that has connections on all sides. Stretching her career to new limits, Pamela Anderson Lee spares no effort in bringing the comic book hero of barbed wire to the big screen. I've had so much training, it's ridiculous. Kickboxing. Oh. Ah, yeah. Let's try this in high heels. Oh. He's been shooting a lot of guns. Wow, oh, just tons of guns. MP5Ks, fully automatic. It's just ridiculous. It's a lot of fun. There's some sequences where Pam has to ride a motorcycle. After 41 years, it's finally making its motion picture debut and an amazing return to the highway. The Triumph motorcycle will serve as Bob Wire's most trusted and loyal ally in this dangerous and war-torn world. I don't know if you've ever gotten one of those big Triumphs, uh, but they are, uh, that's a big bike, and she handles it just fine. Well, what you just did right now, is I it out too much. just a little bit too fast where you didn't have enough engine power. When you feel that starting to do that, you pull the clutch right quick, it won't stop. I crashed a few times and ran into a few fences along the way. <laughs> when you watch this film, you'll see that she's doing a lot of her own stunts on this. Well, we thought we had a uh, fun concept. Uh, there weren't a lot of uh, female action characters around. When we uh, first approached uh, Pamela about doing the picture, she was very excited. Uh, in her own words, she had always wanted to be Pambo. Damn it. Yes! Well, she'd be the female equivalent to uh, Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone. You a cop? See a badge? That's a cut. We had Jim Carrey for The Mask, followed up with Time Cop with Jean-Claude Van Damme, who was perfect for that role. And now we have Pamela Anderson uh, starring as Barb Wire. And the funny thing is, if you look at those covers of those uh, original uh, comic books and you look closely, it, it looks like Pam. I mean, even though the artists had no concept that this would be made into motion picture or that we would actually ever approach Pam Anderson. It's very, very different than Baywatch. CJ is kind of happy and, and sweet and kind of this apple pie kind of image. This character is much closer to the real me. You're looking rather buoyant this evening. Shut up. I love the whole thing about don't call me babe. You really know your stuff, babe. What did you call me? She really kicks butt if someone calls her babe. Don't call me babe. And she's just been hurt in the past by her old boyfriend and she's like out to get everybody. She was left left by the man she loved in the middle of the war. She's become a uh, futuristic bounty hunter. She's got this kind of dark little twisted street inside her head. I think that she kind of she kind of plays everybody and works everybody for everything that she gets. I'm afraid there's been a slight problem. I could only come up with half the money. Fine. I'll take half your daughter. She uses the money she makes from that trade to keep the club right. She's so free. And in the middle of the heart of Still Harbor the, uh, is the Hammerhead, Barb's Club. Where we find the lowest of the bottom feeders and the elite. It's a little hellhole, burnt out hellhole. On stage at the Hammerhead is Die Cheerleader, one of the many artists contributing to the powerful and diverse soundtrack from Barb Wire. It's Tommy, my husband's actually going to be helping. He's put out a song before called um, Planet Boom, and it's going to be in the film as the title track. And it's just wild, very heavy, punk, nasty, futuristic with a real cool dance beat. Besides Tommy Lee, other artists include Michael Hutchins, Salt and Pepper, Jeanette Napolitano, and the Meat Puppets. Quiet, please. Everybody stay where you are. This is the police. We're not open for breakfast. There's just this sort of unseemly arrangement that uh, keeps everything afloat. I like the new sound system. Sounds expensive. I've been saving my lunch money. A little gun running here, some bail jumping there, the occasional midnight detonation. Those are the kind of jobs that pay for new toys. I don't want light. He goes to bar because she knows so much about the underground. He suspects it's resistance related. She would have a lead. Arrest him. What gives? 
Messy business tonight, Miss Wire. Most unpleasant. A rather spectacular double homicide in the old harbor. So, she's definitely in control. 20,000. Now. She's definitely tough. Everybody listens to her. She does what she wants. She kind of plays everybody. That's what I like about her. Get me out of Steel Harbor. I'm a dead man. You want out? Click your heels together three times. She's not taking sides with anybody. Rumor has it that you used to fight with the resistance. Shouldn't believe everything you hear. She was with the resistance, now she's not. But in this particular scene coming up, I, I have seen through some images on the wall that came out of another person's mind. I see her with this fellow Krebs who has the lenses, so I know she's involved. Issue a warrant for the arrest of barbed wire. Look, I need your help. Right now. Yes, I will, but I need your help first. I remember when you believed in something. What's the cause done for me lately? Well, I, uh, there's a lot of electricity flowing because I haven't told Cora, my wife, too much about my previous involvement with this barb. Am I interrupting something? Lovely, you've got company. I like a good menage every now and then. If I was his wife, I probably would have shot him right there, so... <laughs> we got married for, uh, let's say, identification purposes. But we ended up falling in love. I knew I shouldn't have come here. That woman's in love with you. This is why I've become the character that I am. You know, because he dumped me, and now he comes back and he's married to this brilliant doctor. I'm sure you'll have very strong, smart children. I mean, just everything that you don't want to happen. And there's a cure to the congressional deadly epidemic. We have to tell the world. How utterly goddamn heroic. And her brother was blinded during the fight. Do I look surprised? Poor Charlie, man. He just, you know, he's kind of bitter. You know, he's angry. He can't fight for the resistance. And he's turned to drink a little bit. He looks exactly like my brother in real life. So instantly, when I saw him, I was instantly, you know, protective of him. Charlie, come here. In the course of fighting this civil war in the United States, a congressional smart grenade followed me all the way to my foxhole. He's still involved with the resistance, and I don't really, I kind of, um, I kind of know about it, but I'm not quite sure. I can help. Blind leading the blind. This relationship sort of brings it down to a human level. You know, it's a brother and a sister. What color are they? The color of money. We can give them to Axel and help them escape. Not so fast. This is our ticket to Europe. Shows gets caught up in these crazy little schemes. I can assure you, citizen, that if we discover that you're involved, the consequences will be abrupt and severe. There is a race against time. The plane for Canada leaves in 24 hours. Does the word overkill mean anything to you? Have you ever tried to drive out of Steel Harbor? No. Then shut up. Call camera, please! Once again. You see all these action heroes out there, but they're not wearing corsets or stilettos. She does her stunts as well as any stunt person. And... I've done my own stunts wearing a corset that cinched my waist in 17 inches. Why don't you go change into something a little more comfortable? How about something a little less comfortable? Very interesting woman with the most impressive assets. I'm out of your cut's range. Amazing to watch, too. The most exciting adventure. This is going to be a really, really cool movie. Just the angles and the shots. And I think she's just kind of playing different characters in, her, in herself. She's kind of getting what she wants through using everything that she has. Glad you're doing business with you, Barb. If it was a pleasure, Schmidt, I'd charge you. It's gorgeous. It seems like it's a $50 million movie they're trying to do for half the budget. Cut, 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 cut. You know, it's like every guy's dream to run around and take care of Pamela Anderson. I got you, babe! Don't call me babe. So I thought Bob Wire never took sides. Give it to yourself.